Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Zhang Yan on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time I left off, we had uh, acquired a piece of Gong Shinzan after taking... Well, we traded the Toolmaker for a piece, essentially. Um, he was then immediately vassalized by Yuan Sha, which is what I kind of expected to happen. He's yellow, though. Hold on. Well, he's, yeah, he's definitely a vassal. I was say, because if he's yellow, I can still just attack him. Or, uh, sorry, why did I say yellow? I meant white, obviously. This is yellow! Not white. Or light grey, I suppose it is. But anyway, the point is that, yeah, I still can't attack him because he's a vassal. Uh, you were going to go and attack this here town. Wait, are we actually in range? No, we're not. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to sit here for a turn and replenish just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. There's actually a fucking army in there. Oh shit, and the garrison's not bad either. Because there is... Oh, there's actually... This is a garrison person. Alright. Well, we'll have to siege them out for a bit, I think. But that's okay. Uh, you were on your way to attack here. We are actually going to be able to do that next turn. So we'll just move up to here. We'll still replenish uh, only a little bit. Actually, that's... Exactly the same as I was replenishing there. Even though we're in allied territory. That's pretty good. Okay. Um... We have a couple of buildings we can build, but I only have so much money, so we're going to build something here. This will be that one or that one again. Let's go for the one turn thing again. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? I could increase this, actually. I can't handle the happiness for a while, because I mean, I'm, I am on 100, but... Also, we must have our form again soon, yeah, two turns. Uh, oh, right, one thing I learned as well, I should have mentioned this in the last episode. I forgot, there's a whole bunch of things I learned, but I forgot to mention most of them. Um, but yeah, the, um, the corruption thing actually does work uh, the very illogical way that I thought it might do. Uh, which is that, let's say you have 10% corruption, and you reduce your corruption by 10%, it goes down to 9% instead of 0%. It is basically reducing your percentage by a percentage, but not like a direct uh, removal of that percentage. It is like a percentage of the percentage. It's, I don't know, you, you guys probably understand what I mean, but it's basically the dumbest thing ever. Um, so yeah, these reforms are not as good as you think they'd be, because they remove, for example, uh, f this one is 5% corruption, this one is 6% corruption, that was 8% corruption. So a total of 19% corruption is very little, if you think about it. Since you're, let's say it is 10% uh, corruption, you remove 19% of the 10%, you're still on 8.1% corruption. <laughs> like, obviously it gets larger the bigger the percentage becomes, or the bigger the corruption becomes. But it's still, it's just kind of shit. So I, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I also feel like it should be, um, it should be explained better, because that is just kind of, it's not... You wouldn't expect the percentage to be, per, per, be bleh, to be reduced by your percentage in that way. You'd be, you'd think that if it was, for example, fourteen percent right now, and I reduce it by six percent, it goes down to eight percent. That's the most logical way of thinking, but uh, it doesn't work that way. But anyway, uh, I'm sure it's balanced in this way, so that's okay. It's just a bit annoying. Uh, we spent all of our money. We have no real diplom. Uh, it's not diplomacy. Diplomacy to do, as far as I'm aware. So. Yeah. Uh, you want to choose dead, so he doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. Fair enough. I have got my food back, but we are losing some food soon. We're going to lose six here. I think that's all, though. So I can trade some away again. I have 16 right now. So why don't we go up to Yuan Shao, who doesn't like us that much anymore. Actually, does he? Hold on. Uh, minus 34. What the fuck? If I click on him, we're still green, so I don't know how that works, exactly. <laughs> uh, are you lying? Like, which? who's lying, is it? Anyway. Um, War trustees against our friends. I'm guessing that's Gong Shinzan, who is your mate, I suppose. Well, too bad. He fucking loves everyone. Except for Hu Wong Shao. Right, so let's be like, yo... Um, oh, now we can do that. Does he want to? Oh, he really... <laughs> he really doesn't. Uh, no, I was going to give you some food. How much are you willing to pay me for this? I think you're still the richest person in the world. Well, not... Yeah, he's very rich, apparently. Um, so let's just take a whole bunch of money from you. Alright? Let's make you a little bit less rich. Fucking hell. This can't be good. Okay, there's a big jump right there. So why don't we remove a little bit of food and... Let's... 
wait, how the fuck does that keep? There we go. All right, so 684 for free food. That's pretty good. I could get more, but I might as well get it from someone else. Free food for that much. Holy shit. I guess he is poor on food. I've got quite a bit of food. Kong Rong. A word war of you, so that's not going to happen. Yeah, in the Liu Bei campaign, you were a great person to uh, trade food with. I have a little bit of food left over. I'm just a war of everyone I know. This, is, this doesn't help. Alright, who am I not a war with? I guess all of your vassals. But they're all shit, and they won't pay me any money. Am I giving you any food? No, alright. Oh, we have another question back with you, that's good. Would you like some food? You actually are quite uh, poor on food, and you have a lot of money, so maybe this is going to be even better. Okay, it's jumping up way faster than, than the other one, but... Um... There's a 1.7 jump there. Let's see. 1.6... Let's go down there. Somewhere around there. Okay, we'll give him four food and I'll just work it out. Work it out, man. Come on. There we go. Uh, I want 40. Sorry, mate. Min max this. Okay, so 540 for four food. That's pretty good. And then we're on to nine food. We're still gonna lose six, so I think I'm gonna leave the rest for now. And I can always trade more once I've got that upgrade. Which is next turn. I might lose food from something. I might lose this town, which actually would just give me more food, actually. Reduce my income by a fuck ton, though. In fact, if I lose this town, I'm gonna lose half my income currently. But that wouldn't be good, would it? Um, other than that, we don't have anything else to do this turn, I think. So let's go ahead and not do anything else this turn. We got a couple of things to do next turn, though. You want my trader, which is actually not bad. 1120 bucks. Eh, I'm not that desperate for a little bit of money. I think I'd rather keep this and have a 2.0 uh, ancillary to give out. Ooh, Shang Zhang were moving an army in there. I thought she recruited it, but that's moved. Dong Zhou requested Liu Bia to join the war. Man, for a second I thought he requested him to join the war against me, and I was like, no. Fassel joined that war too. Zhang Yu, oh, we got another kid, a son, sweet. And we did that, we got income from industry and satisfaction for sentinels, great. We also have Kong Chang, I think I've seen him before, and we got Chi Chi, Chi Chi! Any good Chi Chi? I want you to, I want you to be good. I want to have a general, and then every time I have, ah, oh, he's not very good. I, w I want to be able to constantly say, Chi Chi is going in for the jewel and shit like that, but nice, he's just fucking rank. Zhu Changshu. Um, you're not bad. Wang Shu. Am I war of Wang Shu? You're pretty good, actually. And Chong Chang has a Marshal G. Loyal to Zhang Zhang. I, I trust you. Ah, if it wasn't for a competent, I think I would have actually considered getting this guy. He's pretty solid. But uh, Zhu Changshu is quite good. She doesn't have any... Like, she gets 8 instinct here. She has 4 expertise. She loses 4 instinct here, but still adds up to being good. And then 12 cunning. And chance of ambushing is good at, in general. So she's quite solid. Um, do I want to recruit her, though, is, of course, the main, the main question. How much would that cost me? Uh, this could be somewhere, right? Your upkeep cost? I don't know, probably like 100, 150. Something like that. You don't come with any increased, like any gear. This guy comes with a Marshall G. I'll be, it, it, I, this would be one of those cases where I'd be, definitely be worth recruiting him, taking this off of him, and, and then uh, firing him again. But I still think it's just kind of cheesy to do that, so I'm not going to. What is your ability, by the way? You got Tenacity of Steel. I already looked at you before, didn't I? You're from Tsao Tsao. Hello, spy. We got Chi Chi and GG. GG, son. GG's actually pretty good. Oh, he's the guy. Yeah, he's been up there for ages. 
Uh, I am kind of tempted to hire her, but I'm I, I'm not gonna spend any money on that right now. I don't need any need any more um, of those agents, to be honest. Okay, we definitely do want to build this, but let's see what else I've got. Nope, nope. Actually, nope. Need more happiness there. Uh, this one is the one where I can't because I want a different building. We can do loads of shit here. Okay. So this would be the grain storage, I think, so I can upgrade this further. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this building's here. I think I had this here from ages ago, and then I just kind of kept it here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's worth going for industry income here, though. To be fair, there's only really one in industry income building, that's that one. So yeah, this is definitely grain storage, which is cheap, which means I should be able to still build that other building as well. I can also upgrade this. Can I also upgrade that and then also get the one there? No. In that case, I'm going to get the other one first. Uh, no, wait, it wasn't that one, was it? It was this one. But well, that still doesn't let me get that. Okay. Uh, so you guys can go away. Buildings I already looked at. So yeah, we got another kit, which is nice. A Vanguard. Alright. Zhang Gui and Zhang Yu. Fine. Right. Are you allied to anyone? I can hope not. No, you're trading with people though, so Yuan Shao will probably get even more pissed off with this. Look, if he wants to break our coalition, that's fine by me. Breaking coalition doesn't result in war immediately, does it? He dislikes me for this. Bit of a surprise. Uh, yeah, this is not a battle I'm gonna fight right away. I'll happily have him come out though. I shouldn't probably have attacked during winter. But it looks like my. Yeah, maybe. It should be a minus 40 from hostile territory, but I guess. Oh no, because it's part of my own province, isn't it? And that's how that works for some reason. No, never mind, I don't know this. Well, maybe because that. I don't know. I don't fucking know, do I? Do I look like someone who knows that kind of shit? No, I don't. Um. Let's go and attack this town here. It's once again winter. This is not a good idea. I'm losing supplies already due to climate and faction support. <sighs> okay, well, they'll probably sally out. Oh shit. I'm actually starving them out. This is going to make them take attrition. Which actually, I think, is the same in the other town, isn't it? Well, let's hope they sally out anyway. This is yeah, that's even yeah, that's even worse. Two turns there, or two turns there. Even. Right, you're almost fully replenished. Fantastic. I don't want to recruit anyone in here, nor do I have the money to do so anyway. Let's hope some people sally out. Hello. That's not gonna happen, is it? Even if I gave him all the best shit, which there isn't much off, to be honest. Just out of curiosity, see how far I can get without giving him actual territory. Uh... Oh. Nah. I would have to give him territory. Bunch of money. What is this? This is worth a lot of money. Hedong large city, is that that one? Yeah. That's making me a lot of money though that time, which means I have to keep it. Go I piece of you yet. Probably not. Oh, he's got a trebuchet too. Army is kind of dead though. I guess the best case scenario would be is if they start taking the fisher while they're sieging out the town, which will take them a couple of turns to do. Um, should tell me actually, seven turns. Yeah, they would be ha they would have to siege me out for at least two turns. Oh. Tempted to Just recruit another. Actually, is that guy almost done with his assignment? Two turns. Where even are you? Yuzhu is up here, right? Oh wait, is that this? No, that's not that one. It's the Tong. Yuzhu's up here. I think I might call him back and recruit him in here next turn. Just him alone would already make a pretty big difference. 
against this, such a wounded army. And then there's, he gets a pretty big retinue as well, actually, because he already has some stuff recruited. Uh, which means I have to pay more money for that. But yeah, let's, let's call him away from his assignment. Then I can recruit him next turn. He will be wounded yeah, and stuff, but... Well, he, he won't be, but his units will be. And then I'll get besieged immediately afterwards. But I think I'm willing to try, test that theory anyway. See if I can make it work. Who knows, there might be a second army that shows up. I don't know. Are you, sir? You're at war with Dong Zhou, aren't you? No, you're not. What the fuck are you doing over there, then? You want to join my war? You want to join our coalition? No. Oi. Uh, I can't ask you to join my war, because I guess we need to be allied to do that. Well, never mind, then. You want Shao, you want to join my war against the uh, Big Dong? No. No, you definitely don't. Alright, well, fuck it. There's not much else we can do. Let's just hope that we can make it work somehow. Got a feeling we're not going to get attacked here, but... Okay, he's coming. That looked like Kong Rong's army right there. Uh, I think I just saw two more people getting vassalized. Some of them I was at war with, so I guess that's okay. Vassalize? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're in that campaign now. I, I I didn't think it was gonna happen, but no, it's definitely happening. Got some unhappy people as well. I wonder why. Um. You know, I sh yeah, vassalized the EU as well. Great. Long she requested their master to go to war. Oh, so they're at war of him now. Okay. Zhang Chao joined the war alongside. Frozen arms. Better relationships. Great. Okay, well, first of all, before I spend any money on the unit or on the buildings, I gotta recruit this army here. I gotta hope they run out of uh, supply soon and just die off. Alright. Do I bother recruiting another unit? I have to pay 120 upkeep for them, and they will be on um, 49 men. That's it. It's 49 men. Helpful enough to pay all that money for every turn. Maybe. Do I also want to re replace any of these archers for something else? Or do I want to recruit another dude? To recruit her. She was loyal to someone else. To, yeah, some person I'd never even heard of. You're not that bad. I don't really care about having you, though. Be just kind of a waste of a person, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's necessarily wor worth more to have infantry units. I feel like having a wall is probably just as good. I mean, the problem is going to be that they're just going to siege me out until I attack. To be fair, my garrison... Oh, that's not the right garrison, though. I was going to say, that's pretty good, but unfortunately we're dealing with this. It's also not bad, but it's not enough to attack them in the field unless they've taken a lot more attrition. So they are really quite weak. Maybe I do stand a chance here. <laughs> that sounds very, very confident, isn't it? You know what? Maybe I'm not that after all. Um, I'm gonna let this be, I think. Let's just recruit another Saber Militia. Saber Militia? Is that even worth it? I... Yeah, fuck it. I guess I gotta take as much chance as I can get here. Got ourselves a clay rat. Right, you need to get some actual equipment here. You don't need this anymore. It'd be a waste if I lose the equipment. Oh, I wonder if I should take that just to try to snipe some people. Not necessarily a bad idea here, since they have a couple of generals that I could snipe, because they're quite low already. I'd have to remember to actually use it, but I think that might actually be the right idea here. Uh, and then I'll take the two resolve, literally just to get my health up just a little bit. You're cruel. Oh, fuck me. I didn't realize you were an asshole. Pretty good asshole, though. Um, okay. Okay. We have nothing else. To, I can't believe I haven't got a single horse in this campaign yet, by the way. Uh, item buildings. Right. I have got a little bit of money left over. So I'll be this one. And all the other f shit can fuck off. See, I guess I am I am now also playing that campaign that everyone has problems with, where you one shot just vassalize the entire world. 
I guess the only good thing about this particular scenario is that I'm actually in a pretty okay position to take on Yuan Shao. Not that I want to, like don't get me wrong, but we have a couple of his towns immediately that I can, we can pick up. Like I'm not going to do it yet, but when I do, if I do have to declare war on him at some point, we can take out several of his towns immediately and we have a, a united front line against him and all of his vassals. We're not going to be like flanked by a bunch of shit. We're not like, you know, let's say I'm playing Cao Cao. And he vassalizes, like, he, he's up there, and he vassalizes all the people around me. And you're fighting a, a war on all fronts, whereas now we just have a, a one front line, and we can have, like, you know, they could attack with loads and loads of armies, which would suck, but at least we'd have a united front line. I guess the only problem would be they could just sail over here, and it would suck, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, see, so you're going to start taking attrition. I don't know why people are unhappy all of a sudden. You're unhappy. Desire's hardcore position. You're fine. You're fine. It's just you that's unhappy. You have six of four. Man, yeah, I definitely didn't want that on you, did I? I just gave you that at some point to make you happy, I suppose. But now, we've got other options. So we'll give him that, and the rest is going to be fine. Um, and then here, we are... Oh, for fuck's sake, he vassalized this guy. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't even notice that. I, I, I read it at some point. I didn't realize it was him. Oh, fuck you. You want show? Go eat some fucking dick somewhere, man. <laughs> God damn it. You better not vassalize these fucking yellow turbans. I'm going to be pretty upset if you do that. Oh, I would have liked to have united this front. Plus, it would have given me trade with Gongshin Zan as well. God damn it. That's actually kind of fucked me there. That's cost me a lot of money over time. Oh, well. I guess we're fucking marching down south to deal with uh, the Kong Rong problem. It's annoying because I, I would say like I need to get some peace with people, but the problem is that I can't really peace out with people because that just means they get vassalized by Yuan Shao. <laughs> Gets. Fuck you. Alright, um, I guess we're still going for that unit, so we gotta go down here. Administrative position is fine. That's pretty good. We know that 50% income from industry is actually not bad. Silk and spice doesn't do shit though. Increasing my food, I can actually do as well now. Food production, 25%. is not bad at all. I can get a lot of money from that, I think. Replenishment's nice. Yeah, I think we're going to go down here first. 16 food. Yeah, we can trade some of that away for sure. Um, so let's see who we're not trading food with right now. Gongshin Zan. We are. It's outside. We're at war still. Would you take peace, by the way? You're just a straight up no. Like, not even fucking considering it. All right. Okay, let me just see if you would even give me any kind of money for this, because you know, he's very poor on food, on money. Yeah, no, that's... nope. Equal... I guess I'll just have a look at first at who's rich and who isn't. Tata's rich, which doesn't help me. You're equal, which means you're kind of poor as well, aren't you? Holy shit, you don't give a fuck about my food, do you? <sighs> nah, I think... I'd give her like one food for... No, that's not worth it. Free food for... Nah. We can get we can get better deals than that. I uh, can't trade with you. Kong Rong, I'm at war. Han Empire, I'm at war. Liu Bia, I'm no longer at war, but I'm trading food already. Huang Zhu is still uh, your vassal, but he's not going to take that. Uh, Cao Ying, I'm at war. I actually don't have anyone to give this food to. Fuck. I had a good idea about give, getting more food, but... It's not gonna help me, is it? Okay, well, we can always just wait and trade more later on. That's fine. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I kind of want to get this army to west because I might be able to get there fast enough for me to be able to help out. But if then the Kong Rong shows up, I'm gonna get fucked immediately. You're gonna take three turns, two turns to get there in fast march. Yeah, all right. I'll sprint you west. Hope you don't get caught on the way. That would suck. This army might make the difference here. I'm f I think we might be okay, even if a field battle happens. This thing would be a problem, but we have like he alone would do quite a quite a bit of havoc there. I think. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I can do for now. One guy is unhappy, so be it. All the buildings I can build is just that, which I can't handle that from it's from anywhere. So that's all good. Okay. 
Wait, Liu Bei was vassalized, but he's not actually blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Weird. Wonder when Cao Ying is gonna get vassalized. I'm waiting for it. Uh, Alright, there goes Huang Xiao. Actually, if no one else had done it, I probably would have gone over there just to kill him off, but. It was done. Wait, Gongshan Zan is here as well. Fucking glad I decided to go here fast. He's just standing around, like, waiting. If only he would join me. Uh, I will just keep starving him out. Xiao Yun as well. I'd love to confederate this fa faction and get Gongshan Zan and Xiao Yun. That would be great. Any other cool people? Not really. Um, I'll still have a look though. I'm still on the lookout for anyone who's got like 30 points here because it means they would have had at least some kind of unique thing about them. But these are all just shitty nobodies. I'll rank on you. Uh, you want to go down. Yeah, you definitely want to go that, that, then these two probably, and then probably go over there. But you've already, we've already got the main, the main skills. Pay them bills. Where else? Probably better for you. Okay. Grain silo, right? So that means I can upgrade. Well, I need to upgrade this one more, but I can upgrade this now to increase my income, and then we'll upgrade that one afterwards. We have been besieged. Okay, so we're not going to take attrition yet. I'm kind. I'm still hoping that they will take attrition at some point. If I force Mars there, they can just lift the siege and attack me, so let me see. Can I reach there in two turns if I move ye old and fashioned way? Yeah, I can get into reinforcement range, no problem. And I doubt he'd be able to reach me. So that's the plan. Next turn is when I start, well, the, after next turn I start taking attrition too. So we'll start attacking him. He's not going to take attrition though, because I, I will attack him next turn. He's not taking attrition this turn, so that sucks, but oh well. But oh well. Uh, yep, I already did that, and I already did that. Right, so you're still marching south, because, I mean, you're just going to be attacking Kong Rong, really. Guess we're going across the river if I take this place and that one. That's another... It's not actually a full province. I'd have to take that one, too. But these guys can gather up and take that, perhaps. I'm peaced out with you. I guess we got to go and attack someone, right? Maybe I can get peace with Kong Rong after taking that town. That would be fine. I can actually afford to upgrade that, so go on, then. You are being besieged, and your income is suffering for it. So that's going to keep on going for another turn at least. Hopefully just sally out at some point, and you're on your way here, and blah de blah I need to check that Liu Bei. If he, is, is he vassalized or not? Because he was, but then he's not anymore. Oh, they realized that this isn't going to work for them. That's okay by me. I'll gather up the two forces then. I don't really want two sentinels in the same army, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Lady Wu signed a peace treaty with Kong Rong. Yao declared war on the Han Empire and Dong Zhou. Li Bei requested Cao Cao to join their war. Cao Mai joined the war against the Yellow Turban rebels. Jia Long declared war on the Han Empire and Dong Zhou. Kong Zhou requested their master to want Cao to go to war with Han Sui. Uh, we are losing supplies. Okay, and Li Damu's army, which is all the way up here, actually a bit annoying. I think I'll siege him out for one more turn, and then we'll just do the actual battle. We could maybe have it light losses. I don't think I'd actually want to do a fight. I could make him. I get to demand or surrender next turn as well. We got one more turn before we. Well, we have two more turns before we start running out of supplies. So that's okay. Uh, yeah, they stopped the siege, which means all my buildings are busted. I have to pay money to repair those. Okay, another um, science thing. Are they going to repair together? Because it, it repairs a total of 150 per turn, but is that across as many buildings as, as it needs to be? Or is it just 150 for one building, then the next turn 150 for the next building? Etc. Alright, we're just going to merge in here. And we lose supplies because of merging for some reason. Uh, what kind of bonus do you get for commanding? Ranged firing rate and uh, morale. You just get the ranged firing rate, so this is fine. 
Okay, I think it might be time to switch over to units here as well then. Although, again, these guys aren't sticking together, but I probably still want to switch them over. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to switch these guys over to regular Saber Militia just to decrease my uh, current upkeep costs, but... Still not taking attrition, but if he hangs around here for too long, I might just attack him. Oh, if the town was in reinforcement range, I would definitely have done it right now. But they're not, so I'm not going to. Um... Wait. Mill post. Okay, we can upgrade that, but again, I think this is one where we want the income from commerce rather than the percentage from commerce. A devious attendant. Alright. You can deviously attend someone else. Set up an administration, right? I do have one I want to actually upgrade to level 4 1 somewhere. This one, I guess. And that one. No. That one. Yes, this one. Because then I can get the um, grain silo and then I can upgrade this further. But for now, I guess it's okay. Oh, you're in Force March now, so you'd be tired. Do I want to attack now? Oh uh, man, that's actually kind of an interesting question. It's actually in my favor too, if you look at the balance of power. We have no cavalry though. And he has the trebuchet. We'd be able to kill off the generals with relative ease, but there's still an army to contest with. Whole bunch of crossbowmen, which means they'd outrange me. I think we're gonna wait and see what they do. It'd be great if I could kill them and get peace, but... Unlikely to happen, I suppose. I mean, to be fair, you're going down south and then... I want to risk being a force march, that's probably not. Let's move normal. You're going to attack this town, but after that you're going to take that, and then I guess could even possibly take that, and then I might be able to sue for peace with them just for that alone. Uh, yeah, when we get the king, that's when the game round divides, essentially. I'm going to keep calling it that. Okay, so I've actually got a little bit of money I can't spend, unless I want to recruit a dude in here. I wouldn't mind recruiting someone, but... And I also definitely want to exchange one of these two with another one. This is literally just necessity right now. I don't want them to be together in an army, obviously. Fuck, I keep forgetting to check Liu Bei, whether he's a vassal or not. Okay, they're... Oh, fuck me, they're going to my farmland there now. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think they're taking attrition. I think I see that little... Is that like the people leaving the army image? No. It's something else entirely. Okay, can I run around the other side and get here? Because they can't get there next turn. Can I? Yes, I can. I wouldn't be able to replenish, but I think that's a little bit more important that I get there. Didn't even check, might be a second army over there, just abandoned the place. Okay, people declare war of each other, Liu Yu join the war alongside Yuan Shao against that guy in the west, fair enough. Pu Zhang, Li Shang. Any goods? Hmm. You're okay, loyal to Liu Bei. You're weak, so you're just, I see that and I'm like, nah. Oh, you're also 51 years old. You're an old man! Right. We built the that one, so yeah, we gotta upgrade this. And then here, we can't do shit. Well, well, well. I also have no assignments available, because I haven't got anyone recruited. I could, that's another reason I could recruit people, to be honest. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this one now. Can I get into a... no. Alright, let's say, uh, yo. Why don't you just give me the time? Nope, alright. I think I'll delegate this one. I don't want to fight this. We have a trebuchet though. It might just come towards me. Alright, I might fight it. Fuck it. Start mine for now. It's gonna be a second. Let's do the other shit first. Uh, so you are gonna add on into this water here. Well, let's first of all actually jump in the water. Okay, there is an army there. Can't see anything else. Let's hope there's not another army. <laughs> we know there was another army here at some point, but I don't know where that is now. Uh, and then this was this turn. All right, fine. I guess we'll do a battle then. I wasn't planning on it, but let's do it. 
Make it a night battle, I guess. Yeah, we just kind of fight it with the trebuchet and hope that they come towards me. Otherwise, I can night, uh, I can um, fire arrow them, I suppose. The tower, that is. Uh, yep. I think normally I'd auto this. Wait. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, wait, where are the reinforcements? The reinforcements are scarce, of course. Yes. Victory will indeed be ours. Okay, so yeah, Siege got a town like this doesn't destroy any towers, does it? Nope, it certainly doesn't. Okay, so. Best approach. Probably this one here. Yeah. This one, we'd get attacked by that one if we stay, but if we stay on this side, we're fine. Those towers are not in range either, so... We stay over here, like, basically, yeah, not past this point here. We're not gonna get shot. And again, I am gonna just try and hope, or just, well, try and hope. I'm gonna hope that they come towards me by using the trebuchet. Oh, fuck, this doesn't have the flaming shot either. We have flaming arrows, though, so we can destroy the towers, but... Um... Just make an actual formation. I'm not gonna flank around or anything. Cavalry will get destroyed by the tower, so that's okay. I guess I'll still put a couple on the flanks in case they do come to towards me, which would be the plan. Um. Alright. So yeah, literally just kinda hoping that they come towards me because I have a trebuchet. And it immediately looks like that might actually be the plan. Sweet. How far are those towers? Okay, I can move my sh units up just a bit. I have to be careful to move into range of those towers, though. Company is flanking all the way around from there as well. Oh, shit. I didn't actually check any of these. Uh, you're a healer. You're a healer too. Um. Yeah. We're not full health, actually. I didn't really think about that at all. Okay. I also don't know where the other guy is, but he's got to be close enough. Oh, there they are, right there. Perfect. We won both the first bouts. Fantastic. And we have your ability, so. I'm gonna hit a couple of the actual units too, though. Getting off two generals right away, definitely going to be worth it. Okay, she's probably going to get shot by the tower, so we got to be a little bit careful that we don't walk her too far forward. If she, if she gets hit by the tower, she dies after a couple of hits. Okay, these are both about to be won, so that's good. Got a window before the timer is over to two, which gives me massive buzz. In fact, he might go back to full health. I'm not quite. Get back in your high horse, friends. Fuck it, too late now. You're gonna win this one in time, too. This guy wants a jewel as well. Yeah, go on then. Oh. There you go. And you won. Perfect. And you're trapped over there now. Great. All s oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking archer right there. I don't know how I didn't notice that. This guy's actually full HP. I didn't. I didn't realize he was. Oh fuck! Did he enrage from something and then get full HP? Also, you're dying incredibly fast. You're a fucking vanguard. Why are the vanguards so fucking shit right now? I don't remember this from the Lee of A campaign. I know he doesn't have his horse, by the way, but there's not much I can do about this. I'm kind of just hoping for a uh, mass rout at this point. I totally forgot about you too. I can't really use the calf too much, because if I run them too far forward, yeah, this problem happens. We get shot by the towers, and we don't really want that. I have to keep them back to some degree, and just kind of hope my infantry deals with everything, and, and the archers mostly. We're still not fucking dismounted. What's happening? Oh, Jewel needs some work sometimes, don't they? It's right past each other. You ready if we could kill him, because that would make them ride a lot faster. Uh, you could probably get back in your horse now. Get on that high horse of yours. Is this actually gonna happen? They're actually hitting each other the old fashioned way now. What is happening? Oh, here we go, running again. Uh, I feel like I could just mass route them if I just get a couple of charges in these infantry here. 
敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。Everything's right except for that unit, this general, and then the units currently in melee. Oh, that was not the charge that I wanted. Or the charge that we needed. I'll be charging here instead. Probably could have last, lost less men if I had done these charges earlier. Earlier? Oh, now I'm gonna get the question. Mr. Smart. Oh, we finally done it. Mr. Smart Anki, how do you do that thing with the cavalry where you move them? Uh, Mr. Smart Anki, I don't know how to check the option settings. Incredibly difficult job. Don't ask this of me. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, he's gonna die. The fucking towers are murdering him. Because I decided. I, I told him to get his fucking horse. Cover him! No! <laughs> so he's like one or two arrows away from death. Oh my god, that would have been sad. He's out, he's out of range now. Oh, glad I noticed that. He, I probably would have died if I hadn't. Get you the fuck out of range again. Alright, just win this now so we can uh, move in. Nah. What? Oh, it's my general. I think I have run before in other fights where we already went one. There we go. Jab him in the fucking face. Time for the blood DLC, by the way. Alright, now quickly end it because he's gonna get shot to pieces. Let me end. Go away, go, 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 go. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, that uh, Vanguard was very fucking close to being dead there. Very fucking close. Alright, Gongshen Zan, you can go home again, mate. This is my town. Get the fuck out of here. Glad I decided to, to play this the way I did play it. Nice bit of money. Forced migration. Okay, we can have our replenishment. No, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. I need my replenishment. This army is pretty fucking dead. Well, it's not that bad, actually. It needs to be less dead. Right, this is a... Yeah, industry for sure. So we'll convert this one over. Alright, so this again... Yeah, it takes five turns, apparently. But it, supposedly it doesn't. Uh, I... Do actually want that. I think. It's, um... What would I want instead? No, because yeah, we want, as I said before many times now, industry goes hand in hand with commerce. So, yeah, we'll convert this one, and then we'll build this one up later, and then this is going to be converted as well, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, one turn. Wow, okay. That just needs a fucking tooltip update then. It's a bit weird. Maybe it's just me, but I, I feel like it is a bit weird. It probably should have a change, but... Well. Good income, though, from this place, so... That's nice. Our income is not too bad anymore. In fact, I should probably seriously consider recruiting a third army. Uh, because we're gonna fucking need it soon. Uh, oh, and that's answered our question that it does just repair for 150 and it doesn't do it across several buildings. So you do want to, if you have several buildings that are at low numbers, just repair all of them but one, essentially. Otherwise, they don't re uh, re get repaired at the same time. Okay. I want to upgrade that, I guess. I've got the money. I've got the money! Uh, okay. <sighs> These fucking, like, this shit in the middle of my territory. And then I guess this brown... We actually completely just separated now. Which I guess I already knew. I just hadn't really paid attention to this little thing right here. Anyway. Uh, next time we, or well, next turn anyway, we siege that. We're gonna move back there unless okay. he just. I, I'm hoping he starts taking attrition soon, and then we can just attack him, and hopefully we can sue for peace with Dongzhou. Perhaps even send this army to go take that, but we'll see. We will see. Um, other than that, I think it's the end of this turn. Uh, quickly check diplomacy. Oh, Kong's wrong wants to peace out. What? It stops me from going south of the river, but the problem is, we have literally nothing else to take uh, in on on this little, I guess let's call it the continent, you know, north of the yellow. The, is it the yellow river? I always forget which one that is. It is the yellow river. 
yeah judging by the fact that it's yellow although i don't know if that's actually a representation of what it's <laughs> anyway yeah there's nothing else to take we're uh, a piece of everyone up here now so i think you know if we're gonna take anything we might as well take this town then peace out with him uh and then take the lumber yard and maybe the trade port and then peace out with Dongzhou. and then who the fuck knows because i'm I don't know what exactly what the plan is gonna gonna be I feel like I need to declare war on Yuan Shao at some point, but if I do that, I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. But the problem is, if I do it later, I'm still gonna get fucking wrecked because he's huge and he's gonna—he's only getting bigger. <sighs> you know what? If I fucking—I bet yeah, he's gonna vassalize Kongrong <laughs> in this end turn sequence. If Kongrong wants peace with me, who is the other person? Uh, Yellow Turban Rebels. So the other person wants peace. Um, I will, however, check quickly. Liu Bei. No, he's definitely still a vassal. I don't know why he's not like light blue then. He was guaranteed his autonomy, but that shouldn't change anything as far as I'm aware, color-wise. Anyway. Yeah, go back home, fuck. You fuck! Kong wrong. Not vassalized yet. Nor did anyone else. Wow, he went a turn without vassalizing anyone. On the one hand, I'm kind of happy that um, this is now a thing. Oh, sorry, that I'm now experiencing this thing. But on the other hand, I'm like, I kind of wish they uh, they were actually properly fixing this. Because, I'm again, I am on the latest patch. Uh, and they, they've they tuned it twice now, but it still clearly isn't enough. Other people are, like, saying it's not that bad. Like, it's it's actually good that Yuan Shao is the vassalization master. Like, it's nice to have some challenge like that. But the thing is, there's a there's a difference between challenge and nuisance. Someone commented, actually, this exact thing later. Uh, like, so, uh, about something else entirely. But yeah, there is there is definitely a difference between having something be challenging and something be just a nuisance. Like having to declare a war on someone who's got like so like a, a dozen vassals who all send their armies towards you. That's not fun challenge. That's just like, well, this is bullshit. There's no fun in this. Anyway, war is declared. Great. Uh, I built some buildings. As you do, I can upgrade this even further. Uh, right. So yeah, that did take a single turn. So we'll convert this one over as well, and then we'll build that up. And then I guess since we have the money, we can do this. And then, unfortunately, it's winter, which kind of sucks, because we're going to lose massive fucking supplies right away. Oh, he's left the town. Well then. I guess he didn't want to... This is a really sh... It's like a super low town, isn't it? Still going to take it, and then I'll peace out with Kongrong. Before he gets vassalized. Although that doesn't matter anymore at that point. wonder where his army went. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's like, fuck! <laughs> you ran up here, who? Cool. Arrogant. Uh, that's actually not bad for you. I I like that one. Arrogant loves arrogance. <laughs> it's good shit. Wait, it's, he's got a new capital. Was that his capital? Okay, Kongrong's clearly on the clearly not doing well. Oh, it's a regular town. That's why the garrison's so shit. Okay. Uh, yep. Food is not well. We've got a lumber yard. We also got a trade port. Do we go for income from commerce? Um, or do we go for income from from food? We don't get food here, so what I could do is upgrade this and then make it that one to get mass income from peasantry, which is actually something I should consider doing. Well, if I had the food anyway, like here. So I, instead of 110, I get 230 income from peasantry, which is pretty good. Um. But later on, you lose so much food from it that that's actually kind of painful. Hey, also, I wouldn't do it here, but there's another one where I think I would do it. I have been going for, like, um... Wait, let me see, because there is... That one, yeah, this one. So here I went for, like, the yeah the food, like higher income from peasantry and lower food production. I could go even higher and just do that, and then I get even more money from it. But right now, that would lose me nine food. Which is a lot of food. I guess I can go like half and half. I can do it here and not, not every other place. It, it does make me a lot more money. It doubles my food, my income from peasantry. Plus, I obviously get a higher percentage. Well, that's the, so it's the same right now, but it, it has more of an impact on this. So that's actually pretty good. I'm actually going to do that here. I'm not going to do it everywhere. Because I, I, I do not want to lose all my food right away. But it might be a decent idea in some places. Um, I think that's, I mean, there is one more province that we have that same choice in, which is this one. Okay, where the fuck did they go? I don't know where that army went. Which is a bit scary. 
Uh, I feel like if it went this way, I would have seen it by now. Unless it's going up north, but certainly it's, it's gonna, definitely going to start taking attrition soon. <sighs> okay, I'll run in here. Uh, and I'm going to peace out with Kong Rong, I guess. I'll be able to get something out of him. No idea where he is. No, I don't know if he owns that. That's Liu Bei. That's, there he is, Kong Rong. He owns, okay, he owns all of that still. So he's not completely dead. Uh, would you be my, uh, yeah, I can actually vassalize now. Holy shit, he does not want to be a vassal. That's fair. Uh, do you need some food? Holy shit. You do not want this food. Oh, oh wait, no, wait, that's just, yeah, never mind. We just can get just money out of him. That's really bad, though. That's horrible. Damn it, why are these people always so fucking annoying? Uh, okay, give me all your money. How much is that? Ah, oh, what? That's not even worth it. Do you have any food? Give me your food then, I guess. I can sell your food to someone else. I don't really need this food though, either. Uh, do I just take 2,500 bucks? Or something like that. Do you have any ancillaries? That's a good one. Hey, look at that. You do have an ancillary. That's the noble letter thing though, which is kind of shit. The only reason I would want this is because it's definitely worth more than a bunch of money. It's worth 9... Oh, fucking hell, 9.9. .9. If I... If I give it to someone, it's worth 6.7. Um, is 6.7 worth more than, I don't know, like a thousand bucks? It probably is, because it's a very, it's a really easy thing to trade away for a piece. So I think I am actually going to take that. Not that I'm going to use it, I literally just wanted to trade to someone else when I want to offer someone a piece or something. It's worth more than uh, the extra thousand bucks or 1250 that I can get out of that, I think. Because money is a finite... It's a, well, no, it's not finite. It's an infinite resource in this game, but this thing you can only trade. You can only trade four of these um, per deal. So yeah, I guess I'll do this. Thank you. Agreeable terms. I thought so. And then the yellow term rebellion one piece again. Well, I I'm fine with that. I guess. Can't get anything outside of them, unfortunately. Piece it is. Piece of shit. Um. Nothing else. Because nothing else matters. Okay. So yeah, you're going to go take this next turn. It's going to be great. Uh, what was the thing about yeah, you, I guess? We're going to start moving you back somewhere. Not allowed to go through there, unfortunately. I do need some replenishment, so I... Oh, I could sail back as well, actually. That would probably be faster, wouldn't it? Jump in the water. We're replenishing that water. I do not. Well, force march it is. Oh, yeah, I actually have your pretty close to Kong Rong. I could have gone to Kong Rong from here. Just taking his towns, but... Too late now. Do I want to sail up the river as well? Maybe. Let's just go this way for now and see what happens. Uh, I do need to replenish a little bit more, but we'll see. So this army, yeah, we moved it. I have no idea what to do with it, to be honest. That's something we're not going to do. Um... That's the same one. I need to research before I can do that. And the same goes for this one. So we actually have nothing to build. I can upgrade this for happiness, but that's because we have a garrison. When that goes away, we will have unhappy places. So yeah, the only other thing that I can do, which is what I was considering, is uh, exchanging this over to that one. And then making more money from uh, peasantry here. Trade port is going to give me income from commerce. I don't know if it's worth enough for me to switch to commerce income here. It possibly would be. Um, in which case, I would remove all these buildings. I, mean, I guess because they're already built up quite high, I'm probably just going to do it. I'm going to hold off on converting this until I get the lumber yard, which is well, actually this next turn. Fuck it, I'll do that too. So that's going to cost me another nine food, I think. So we're going to actually get uh, pretty low on food right away from those two buildings, but that's okay. It's going to give me more overall income, but obviously less food to trade to other people. But it's more reliable income, I suppose, because I know it's always there. I'll be there for you. Uh, I was not thinking of the friend song, by the way, but the Bon Jovi one. Okay. 
Uh, you want a trader? I I think you asked me that f before, and I'm not going to do that. These five words, I swear to you. If you breathe, I want to be the air for you. I'll be there for you. That's oh my god, Chao Ying. I guess I saw that one coming. That's the Bon Jovi song I was going to say. Another kid, or yep. Dong Zhou commanded their vessel to join a war. Oh. Oh, I wasn't at war with the Han Empire. Well, I guess I am now. What the fuck? I didn't realize that. Coalition became a military alliance. Oh. Between Kong Rong and Dong Zhou. Coalition left by all the people because they joined the alliance. Uh, Cao Cao is part of the alliance. And then everyone... Okay, so everyone joined the alliance, essentially. No one left it. It's uh, it's kind of funny. I feel like if I wasn't in a coalition with Yuan Shao, I would be at war with... Uh, he would be part of that alliance, and I'd probably be at war with the entire fucking world at this point. Like, vassalizing with him have saved me, but he's probably not very happy about it. Or, sorry, colliding with him? <laughs> That's not a word. I just made it one, though, so... Uh, you joined the war against the Yellowstone Rebellion. You vassalized him, as I knew. And then Cao Cao left the alliance? I wonder if that's actually true or not. We got another kid. Ningshan, a daughter. Great. Got some people available. Are you any good? I'm the Wanderer. You're fucking trash, mate. You are distinguished. Cowardly. No. Nah. Fuck you. And you, my man, are actually... Ugh. Why you gotta have that minus four instinct there? Pass load dysfunctions on. You're not bad though. You, you're actually worth considering recruitment. You're also 22 years old, which means you're gonna live for a while. You scare. Nice. Yeah, I might re I might consider recruiting him. Unfortunately, the lady um, person I was thinking of recruiting earlier on is gone now. Oh well. Oh, we're on minus one food. Well, fuck. I done goofed. That's okay. I definitely can't upgrade those things. I haven't really considered that. Ugh. Reserves are empty because I'm low on food. Do I convert this back again? Increase my food by a load. Um, do I have any trades that are running out soon? Three turns, three turns. I think there might be one. Yeah, there you go. That one's coming back in two turns. That's only one food, but that would save me. So that's going to be two turns, because next turn it'll be on zero turns, basically. So are you still in a... Yeah, you're still in the Alliance. So even though it said you left it, you're not actually... You didn't actually leave it. Oh, you actually would consider peace. Probably going to want your fucking doorstep soon. Well, let's first of all just take this here lumber yard. Actually, hold on. Do I have anything else to do this turn? Uh, I do, actually. No? So yeah, I kind of want to upgrade the towns. So you know what? I'm going to do that. And then possibly the other one too. And I'm just going to convert this one back. Which means I can't upgrade the town. Um, what have we here? I guess more food. Oh yeah, you know what? Getting more food would actually save me right away. So never mind. Let's uh, not do that. I will still upgrade the town because I'm getting more food back. Good shit. Uh, and then, do we have anything else to do? I don't know where that army went. I legitimately think it may have just, dis like, disintegrated. Um, I think I'm going to make this into an actual normal force now. I'll make it the way the other one is built. I haven't got the money for that. Hold on. I'm not, I don't care that much about it. I guess we'll do this first. Let's take the time. Fucking medium losses here. I guess the garrison's pretty large. Do I want to take the, uh, the replenishment, or do I want to fight it? No, I definitely don't want to fight it myself. Do I want to siege him out? I think I'd just better just take it now and replenish. Yeah, yeah, that was not too bad. Yeah, definitely so. Alright, so now, yeah, this this is actually going to give me quite a bit of money. We're up to free ground again, almost, so that's pretty good. Uh, can't upgrade that. Don't upgrade that. Don't want to upgrade that. That's still garrison, yeah. And then we can't upgrade that. Okay, so that's all fine. Uh, oh yeah, right, army. Well, I guess we'll, I'll probably end the episode here, actually, because that's just save the game. So this army, I'm not sure what to do with. I want to... I guess I'll just probably get rid of one of these two guys. You're 54 years old already. That's a shame. I guess I did mostly recruit you to be my... 
uh, administrator. So maybe I'll bring you back and I'll, or I guess I'll, yeah, I'll make you a um, assignment. I'll give you an assignment. Can you do an assignment when you're also an administrator? I don't think you can. You can go, wait, you can, yeah, you can be an army and administrator at the same time. You can't do an assignment when you're, I think you can actually when you're an administrator, but just not when you're in an army, obviously. I'm not sure about that. Either way, we'll find out. I'm probably going to just get rid of this army altogether and then re recruit it again elsewhere. Maybe just actually bring this guy over here, but then get rid of him. He might not even see action anymore, so there's probably no point in even converting these units over. Um, the army that was here is definitely taking attrition by now. I just don't know exactly where it went. Maybe it's going up the long way, but it'll be dead by the time it gets here. So, Anyway, um, that'll be next time. So until then, have a good day and goodbye.